Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to this Let's Play series of Anno 1602. Anno 1800 is coming out in April, two months from now, and I thought it would be the perfect timing to start with the whole Anno series once again, starting with the first one, Anno 1602, which has been released 1998 and is thus over 21 years old now. So in celebration to that, we're starting with Anno 1602, a continuous play. It's the classic mode of Anno. We're doing this one, we're not doing the campaigns, I've found them to be a bit too tedious. Most of the missions are repetitive and kind of frustrating too. So continuous play shows us everything the game has to offer, mechanically, thematically, up to the highest level of course. We're going for average, I'm not demanding a difficult, not because I'm lazy, but because I want to have a big, beautiful city that I want to build. And average offers that demanding and difficulty makes the islands smaller. So let's start with that. Let's choose a name. Choose your banner. And we choose the blue banner. And that's it. We are already on the map now. And the rush for the most beautiful island has started. So we start with all the other opponents. Everyone's actually going in a different direction. Except the red one. And me. And it seems like he wants to go to the same island that I have in mind. No. Okay, perfect. He's going for another one. So it looks good for now. This one here looks beautiful. I think we're going for this one. We can build a lot of... It has a lot of building spaces here. And the other one is going down there. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's no native island uh, village here. It's always kind of frustrating when you start on an island like this one. There's a native village tribe. New land has been opened up. An island has been settled. So everyone's settling now. We're doing the same. We're going to build the warehouse in here. And are now on this Arrival island. Let's explore it first. Settlement. So it has cocoa, spices, it has ore, beautiful, cotton. Um, everything we need actually. So let's put our materials to the warehouse. Not all of the materials though, because I want to settle new islands right away. Like it's this one here, I think. Yeah, it looks okay. So let's go for this. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to expand here and start our very first productions that we need. Over here, let's build a marketplace to expand. And over here we can now start with the first forester huts that we need. Let's have four of them. Wood is the most important thing in the beginning. We need a lot of it. And let's also plant some trees here because it's more grass than wood. Especially here. And we need that. And let's also build a hunting lodge. But we can't do that right now. We have to wait for more wood. Anyways, my ship is on this island now. Let's explore it. This island's resources have been determined. It has ore again. Uh, it has 100% tobacco. That's very good. So let's take this one here. It's going to be the tobacco island. We still need wine so we don't have wine here we don't have it here only 50 percent that's not enough we have cocoa and cotton here that is good but it's our main island we don't want to build that many production buildings there this island's resources have been determined. this one has spices that's good an ore deposit has been discovered so tobacco spices yeah let's go for this one here Perfect. The only thing that's missing now is alcohol. We need that early on. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. So I need to get more wood for my ship to get another island. Hopefully this one here. But this one here looks nice. Let's get... Uh, I need to hurry up. Uh, too late. 
Let's get a purchase offer for tools. You need a lot of tools. Okay, and let's get some fisher huts because we need food. There's a trader coming in now and he sold us some tools, perfect. And there's my ship coming in again. And for this one, for this ship I have some wood that I need to give him. And yeah, let's go down here. Let's hope that there is some alcohol here or here. That's a beautiful island up here too. You have run across natives. Yeah, and there are natives on it anyway. Doesn't matter that much then. Okay. Um, another thing is the balance. My balance is quite red at the moment. I have minus 190 coins per minute and only 11 coins, 11,000 coins left. So I definitely need to start building my town. And we're doing it here, I think. Yeah, that's a perfect space here. We do. We can build a chapel here and here, so we can start actually building some houses in this region. I just need to see how many I can build in one row. I could make it this full here, actually. So let's do that. Yeah. And let's, let's do it like this. Okay. Let's have a look for the ship. Let's explore this island here. It's this a bit, island's resources it's a bit hectic determined. at the moment. I'm sorry for that. But in order to have a good... Oh, there's gold. In order to have a good basis for the rest of the game, we need good islands early on. And I still don't have any alcohol. Island where I can actually get some alcohol out of it. Plantations. It's very bad. This would cripple me early on. Let's have a look at this one here. This island's resources impossible. have been determined. Really, An it's impossible. An ore deposit has been discovered. Where the hell do I find alcohol? Let's have a look at this one here. Let's have a look at this one here. It's not that big, but it, if it's only for alcohol, there might be enough space here. I hope so. And let's build more houses. I need that positive balance soon. And let's increase the taxes too. This island's resources have no been alcohol. determined. This is getting a bit frustrating now. Let's have a look at this island. It's far away from my hometown. Having alcohol production that far away? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it's probably this one that has alcohol anyway. Nah, they demand alcohol, so this island has no you alcohol have either. Natives. Oh, there's a native town again. This is getting more difficult now. Let's have a look at this big one here. I just hope that we are lucky enough now. Right, my, my settlement needs to grow a bit too. But the positive thing here, the, the big advantage of Anno is, which has been revolutionary in the beginning, is the AI. So if I'm slow if i'm taking my time with um planning my layout my city the ai actually is slow too so the ai adjusts itself to your speed kind of that is really really cool because in anno you're not forced to to kind of rush everything even though i rush it now obviously but you don't you are not forced into it. You can take your time. You can take your time planning your city, you know, watching the graphics, the animations, um, and the AI will adjust to that. They will not steamroll you. You have run across natives. That is a very nice feature. This island's resources There are have wines, been finally. Finally, we an can, we can have a, an island with alcohol on it, and there's enough space here. They demand alcohol, which is strange. I don't care anymore. I just want to get that island here. Beautiful. So important to get alcohol early, early on. It's far away from my hometown, but, you know, I can't change that now. Okay, now I can take more time. 
for everything because the basis looks good now. I've got an island with alcohol now that we need later on. I have an island now with tobacco that we need early on. Um, cocoa and spices. That's the island for spices. And that's the island for my hometown. I don't need anything else anymore, I think. But with those islands, I'm set pretty good. And there's still a lot of islands left for the AI. But it's a map with a lot of small islands. That's problematic. Anyway, I'm slower now on my city. As you can see, um, I don't have that many buildings yet. Uh, as opposed to, for example, he. Uh, this player here, who has a lot of buildings already and two chapels. I don't have that, but I do have the islands with the best um, earth, kind of. Okay, now I can uh, focus more on my town that I can grow here. And I have a lot of tools left, that is good too. So let's build my town more into this direction then. Yeah, I can, I can do that. So here I can build a chapel at some point. Hmm, like this, I think. Yeah, this would be ideal. Let's have a look at that. And so I'm going to fall. I'm going to put the chapel like this, I think, or like this. Like this is better, yeah. Definitely. I can put more houses around it. got my first chapel that means that my pioneers are going to pay more taxes someone is offering you a trade <coughs> there's a trade treaty now and Some another one where are the trade treaties though their diplomacy yeah and I can take them here so I can trade with those players now like the red player someone okay, all of them offered me a trade agreement now and the red and the yellow player too let's have a look if I click on the warehouse now yeah they show me um, the wares they, they want to sell in this case he wants wood and stone bricks and he sells food all the AI kind of behave the same in the beginning. We all need the same things, you know, so we need tools, we need food. Or we have enough food, actually, because two fisher huts are cheap and produce a lot of food, and like in this case. Okay, let's build more houses here and a chapel. The second chapel. Let's have it like this and more houses okay it's starting to look starting to look like something here and I can expand in this direction let's build another marketplace like yeah like this that's better why is it better because I can build two houses uh, I can't so I need to rethink this one here at some point the problem is you don't get any resources back when you drives. delete buildings you do that in later games later annual games you actually get resources back not in the first one if I delete it now I don't get any wood back So I need to get rid of those two forest huts here because I want to build more houses. I can do that by placing some forest huts here on the outer edges of my 
village. This music kind of reminds me uh, like, uh, like the Zelda games. It reminds me of the Zelda games. Um, that I enjoyed and Ocarina of Time actually has the same release date. It's around the same year, I think, than this one. Now I can build some houses here. here and here have another chapel perhaps my balance is positive now very good and another thing that I can do is now expand my area past the, the river here for that I need to build another marketplace unfortunately or I can actually I can build it like that I think very nice a fire rages in your settlement. And there is a fire. At the moment I don't have any fire brigades, so I need to delete the building before the fire spreads. I still don't have the ability to build a fire brigade, nope. Okay, so here I can build my sheep farms. I need to get rid of the wood though. The monster that I, that I am. I actually need to delete all the forest here um, to build some sheep farms. Let's get two sheep farms here. And a weaver's hut. Let's get a second production going on up and running here, like this, and a second weaver's hut, mm, yeah, like this. And while I'm at it, now that cloth is going to be met soon, they will want to upgrade, but I'm, I don't want them to upgrade right now, so I'm going to stop supplying building materials to settlers, and with this option enabled, they can't upgrade because upgrading costs a lot of tools which I need for more buildings at the moment and I will need another chapel here let's build two houses and then a chapel yep. and like so well that was my mistake does look like something now. I don't know what that is here. Is that a, is that a goat? Is that a, a deer? I don't know what it is. It looks very strange. It has a huge horns up here. It doesn't seem to be hostile though. Hmm. But I don't like the look of that. Let's kill them. Let's build a hunting lodge. Here. So they can they can be hunted now by Robin Hood. Looks like Robin Hood this one. Alright, looks looks good so far. And my village looks like something too, I guess. The chapel. Okay, I can still build a house here and he would still be able to access the chapel. I think this one too. Yeah, okay, perfect. The cloth is coming in now. 
and the requirement is met and they will pay more taxes now. And I still need to buy more tools. It's always a bit problematic in the beginning, the tools. I'm not able to have, a, have my own production at the moment. And I think I need more forests up here. have more buildings more houses okay so this is my my town my village and I can start upgrading soon to settlers the very first upgrade of course later on I will expand here and to this area here and to this area all with houses at the moment i still need the production but later Your on i can city grows and thrives. expand my production to other islands and then have a trade route clouds of smoke pour. another fire these videos are a bit as you can see bugged not all of them though that's a strange thing some of them are really bugged others are normal Okay, so I've got my pioneers now, they're happy, they have no demands anymore, so I'm going to be able to upgrade them at some point. I still want to have a bit more houses here. Okay, nah, that's enough now. I can, I can, let's, let's just um, wait for more wood. Let's have like 10 tons and then I can start with upgrading. So it's five, okay, that's enough now, six, six tons. So I can uncheck this one here again, resume supplying building materials, and I should have my first settlers in a minute. A fire is destroying your houses. Hmm. There is the first settler. My first settlers are here. And I think I still need to, I can, I can, yeah, I can still rename my, my city's name. Let's make it uh, perfect. There's enough space for that. Sleepy Hollow, my first capital in the Anno game. And I've got my first settlers too. Looks quite nice now. It's always sunny in my town. There's no rain. And they want alcohol now. And alcohol, I think... Oh, I can still... No. I'm not able to produce alcohol at the moment. I need more settlers for that. Let's speed up the game a bit. For more settlers. As you can see, they a have fire more... Rages in your settlement. But that is so annoying with the fire. But I can build a fire brigade now. I think I will have one here. New land has been opened up. And I will also build another fire brigade over here. And now actually um, I don't need to delete buildings anymore. It's not that dramatic in the beginning because these are just pioneers. I could just rebuild them. But if I would have to delete a settler's building, that's much more dramatic because I would have to build a new pioneer building first, which then needs to upgrade to settlers. So it's much more expensive. A trade agreement has been canceled. And I can't Check afford that. Routes. And declares war on you. Okay, we got war with the red player already. He settled on my island here. He's kind of he's kind of aggressive towards me. What I need to do is I definitely need to get more materials over there. Your settlement. This is strange. I don't know why he's doing it. But it's not normal that the AI is actually aggressive that early on. Let's have a look at my agreement. Okay. Now we can offer peace treaty again and we're at peace again. But he actually, you know, destroyed one of my islands. With tobacco on it. 
Let's see if I've got another... No, there's no tobacco anywhere else. So that's why he actually destroyed my warehouse there. Nope. So I need to I need to react to that because otherwise I will not be able to produce tobacco at some point. That's only 50%. That's not enough. So if there's no tobacco here, I need to resettle again on this one. And I think he will declare war on me early on. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope there is tobacco on this one. This nah, 50 percent have been determined. So I need to. Your people want a tavern. I need to go here again. Uh, this is this is stupid. The red one. Let's go here. There should be tobacco, perhaps. In the meantime, I've got more settlers. They want alcohol first. And now I'm able to actually build plantations. So we got tobacco, wine, sugar, and spices. Let's have a look at this one here. This there is 100% tobacco. Here deserved. we go. Happy this end. Island has rich deposits of iron ore. I don't need to wage war. A competitor has built a new ship. Do we have 10? Yeah, we do have 10 tons. So I can build a marketplace here. Nice, so we can have tobacco here. I don't need that island anymore that I just lost. But it showed me that I need to build ships soon. Your people need a school. Okay, I'm quite far now with my town. I st I'm still not able to build... Um, tools to make tools but I need to delete my purchase off and off tools because I'm running out of money I need to sell my clothes that I have and I need to sell some food if possible let's build another fisher hut up here to get more food and I need more money a new settlement has been established so let's build more houses. A conflagration rages in your city. There is a fire, but we have a fire brigade now. And he will extinguish the fire. Beautiful. And this doesn't look beautiful now, I know, but I need more houses for taxes. Your settlement now lodges over 300 inhabitants. And now I'm positive. Perfect. You really don't want to get into minus here. Okay, let's save for now. We'll see each other in the next episode. Save.